And he said she was like 500 pounds, he couldn't even lift her, and she's a small woman. So he literally had to take the sheets and the blankets, and he pulled them, and she fell to the floor, whatever it released or whatever it was. Wow. And now it stopped. As soon as I walked in, it stopped. Do you want me to leave? Holy oh my God. What, 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 what? Bro, I just saw the arms of someone. Oh. What, 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 Dude, what? There's something behind you. So, there's someone behind me? Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Holy! Who killed you? Oh god! What, what the hell? It? You didn't change. No, <laughs> After? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Tell me when. Whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> First of all, thank you for coming, you guys. I'm glad you guys are here. You're welcome. Welcome. Um, the house was built in 1875 by Mr. Sylvester Knowlton Pierce. He owned the furniture factory right across the street, Standard Chair, which is still a working factory today. He started working there when he was 14 years old, and he worked his way right up to owning it. He bought this piece of land right here. There was a little house on this piece of land. He picked that house up, and he moved it three houses down, and it's still standing there today. Mm. And then he built this house here. He finished the house in 1875. He built it for his first wife, Susan, who died two weeks after it was finished. They had one child, they had Frank, and he waited the mourning period of about a year, and then he met his second wife, Ellen, who was actually 30 years younger than him. And they had two kids, they had Stuart and Edward. Mr. Pierce actually died in 1888 and he left everything to Ellen Pierce, his wife. And back then you don't do that. Mm -hmm. Everything always goes to the men. So that didn't go over very well with the son, Frank. Yeah. So he actually sued Ellen, his stepmother, for the factory, the house, and he sued actually for custody of his two brothers. Oh, wow. And he actually, he lost. She won in court in the 1800s. <laughs> um, Frank was pissed. He wasn't happy about that. Understandable. But eventually they all started to get along again, you know, and um, and then the house, the factory fell on hard times. So Ellen actually opened this house up as a Victorian inn. And you'll notice there's numbers on the doors upstairs. Okay. Um, she opened it up, people could stay here overnight, and then she would actually cook for them in the morning. Oh, wow. And um, we found, actually found some of her recipes upstairs. I have them at my house mm -hmm. in her handwriting. Um, one day I'll cook. We look up for you guys. Um, yeah, so, right? So then, she, you know, she had her guests and stuff come, and then the depression was over. Factory started picking back up again, and she opened it back up as their house. And then Ellen passed away, and the boys took over everything. Frank, Stuart, and Edward. And then Frank and uh, Stuart died, and then Edward took over in the 50s. And he actually, he ran it into the ground, he sold the factory, he ended up living here, and the Stemmermans bought this house from him in 1958, I think it is, 59, and the deal was $10,000 for the house to Edward, the youngest son, but he has to live here and he has to be the caretaker. He's the one that has to do all the work in the house. He went from being everything and being proper and rich and stuff to being the caretaker, mm -hmm. shoveling putting the coal in the furnace, cleaning all the rooms. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, so um, the bur buried down the street. Showed you guys down where they're buried. Yep. Um, if you want to go upstairs, you can go upstairs, whatever you want to do. Sure. sure yeah. Everything in the house is original. I'll let you guys know that. All the woodwork, all this is original. Mm -hmm. Mr. Pierce literally carved this out for his wife. Um, did you guys see the pictures in the other room of Mr. Pierce and yeah. um, Ellen? Okay. Um, yeah, we can go upstairs if you want. Sure. 
Do you guys want to hear any stories or anything? Or uh, sure, maybe a couple you know, here and there. A couple here and there. Yeah. This, this is a good one in here. Kenny, the guy that um, did the renovations for us, him and his wife live in Beverly. She's one of the head witches down there. She's a witch, and they work. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's the wind. Maybe. So they actually, they're both paramedics. They drive ambulance. They work the 24 hour shift. They come up here and do renovations. And this is where they would sleep. Kenny slept on this side. Mimi slept on this side. They had all their equipment set up on the Vero. And they literally, all the equipment's going off. And then they literally feel something coming up in between them all the time. It was probably the kids. One time Mimi couldn't make it up here. So Ken came by himself. He was sleeping on this side of the bed, just fell asleep, and he literally felt that side of the bed, the depression of the bed go down. Something cried in bed with him, and actually started spooning him. And he was like, oh, this is new, and he liked it. Mm -hmm. He actually said he fell asleep, and that was the best he's ever slept. Hmm. That here. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll go this way if you want. There's a number of the doors. We have Maddie's room here. Above us is the name plaques on every, so you'll know where you're at when you come in. Maddie was actually the nanny. Okay. Um, she took care of the children. She was also a servant. Behind you is speaking tubes right there. That one goes to the master bedroom. And she actually had a built-in bureau. And behind this is the fireplace downstairs. She had heated clothing. The only... The owners she of the house didn't have heated clothing, but she did. She had heated clothing. <laughs> That's cool. That's right? amazing. It's very smart. Yeah. Right? I'm now I now I just got ideas. It's perfect, right? Yeah. Right. This is the dumb waiter that goes from the basement to the pantry to here. Okay. We actually had to um lock it off because the fire department said if it was ever a fire it would shoot right through the house. Oh wow. Okay. So it's now a closet. <laughs> Creepy closet too. <laughs> this is the nursery. This is actually the warmest room in the house. The sun is here all day, so that makes sense that it's a nursery. Um, if you were anybody in the day, you had a sink in your room. So there's a sink in this room. And this was a Freemason's house. All the Pierces were Freemasons. All of Mr. Pierce's family, all the boys. They had a lot of famous people come in here. Um, visiting that with Freemasons. And Freemasons believed that lions were for protection. And if you look above the sink right up here, See the lion's faces? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yep, so this, because this is the nursery, there's some there. And then in the hallway down here, you'll see two more because as you're coming down here. All right, this was actually Edwin's office, the previous owner. He worked from home, he had Blue Cross and Blue Shield. One day he was working out right there on his desk, and he saw his two little dogs in there. Two little Bichon white dogs, literally on their back, and something was rubbing their belly. He could <laughs> see their skin moving, and they were like, oh, they liked it, they were a little enjoying it. And then there was another time he was working and an apparition came right up by the floor right here. Oh wow. Looked at him and then dropped back down into the floor. He was like, oh my God, did I just see that? Wow. So he left and went across the street to the pizza place that's still there. His friend owned it at the time. And he said, Chris, you're not gonna believe what I saw. And Chris said, what'd you see? He goes, I just saw a full apparition of a man come right up out of the floor, looked at me and it dropped back down. He had scraggly hair, a white shirt and blue overalls. And Chris goes, you're kidding me, right? He goes, the guy just had a heart attack and died in here. He had scraggly hair, a white shirt, and blue overalls. The ambulance just left before Edwin got over there. Wow. Wow. So whatever died over there, came wow, right out of the floor right here. Wow. And he drew a picture he of it. It's in the other it's room. It's in the other room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go this way. Jeez. Can you imagine that? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. This is the safe, original safe to the house. It's Ellen's safe. It's the only actual original piece of furniture in the house is, is this. It's quite safe. That is, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. Try to push it. Push. Oh, geez. <laughs> right? Watch your fingers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's intense. Wow. And no one breaking into that room. thing. No, because you have the biggest room in the house, you know? Oh, yeah. Of course. They didn't share a room back then. His room was here, mm -hmm. and her room was across the hall. And when he wanted her, he called her over. Yeah. He's actually the only one with the fireplace. Nobody else had heat, you know, depending on the fireplaces downstairs. 
Downstairs is blue parlor, his parlor. This is his bedroom, and upstairs is his billiards room. Wow. Everything faces his factory, so he can keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on his workers. The tunnel, did they tell you about a tunnel? Yep. It goes underneath this sidewalk right here, across over there. It's pretty cool, I've been in it. But it's, really? it's, it's caved in now, yeah. 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 So what paranormal activity happens in here? This is actually where, this was Edmund Lillian's bedroom when mm -hmm. they had the previous owners. The bed was coming out of that way, and her bureau was here. There was one time she was working down in the basement, cutting wood because we were going to have a little campfire outside. She got a big bundle of wood. She brings it outside, she comes back in, and her hatchet's missing. What the heck is it? She looked all over the basement, she couldn't find it. One year later, she's making her bed, and she looks over this way at her bureau, and her bureau had legs this tall, so it was pretty high up, and there's the hatchet underneath the bureau, oh, wow. on its head, standing upright. A year later, yeah. It wasn't there all that time. Yeah. So this is also where she had, um, she laid down to take a nap, and literally something laid on top of her. She was screaming for help. She's yelling for her husband, Edwin, Edwin, help me, get her off me. And he comes running in, and she said, he said he was, she was like being pushed into the bed, and she was screaming for help to get her off of her. And he tried to lift her, and he said she was like 500 pounds. He couldn't even lift her, and she's a small woman. So he literally had to take the sheets and the blankets, and he pulled them. And she fell to the floor, whatever it released or whatever it was. Wow. And she's like, honey, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. He said, we're going to get a U-Haul. We're going to leave tomorrow. And actually, you know what's funny thing is? It was 11 years ago today. Wow. 11 years ago today. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Maybe somebody's so, going to get held down on the bed or something. They went to bed that night. <laughs> He's sleeping. He wakes up the next morning and he hears somebody crying. And he looks right here in this window right here is a woman levitating dressed in white, long dark hair. She's crying, she's got her hands over her face. He said, that's it, we're done. He went and got the U-Haul. They packed the bedroom set, the twin bed set in the other room, and the living room set. And they called me up and they said, come up here. I came up here and we're outside and they handed me the key and they said, we're done, we can't do it anymore. And they left. I still have the key. And the, the thing is, they didn't even take, this was their closet, they didn't take any clothes. They didn't take any food. They left the refrigerator full, the pantry's full. Everything else was still here. And they were gone for four years. Never, they didn't come back. Maybe two or three times they came back, but they never came back to live. Hmm. And they were scared. They just, it was horrible. It was just a horrible thing for them. This is the guy that came up out of the floor. Whoa. Ooh. That thing right there. Well, I shouldn't say that. So that was the guy that, he died on the street. He outside, died in the, basically. in the pizza place. Oh, in the pizza right place. Right there, this gotcha. pizza place is still there. Yep, and uh, he ended up coming up over here when he died. He just came up and then dropped right back down so again. Mm -hmm. Really messy and dirty mm -hmm. old man. He does, he does, mm -hmm. doesn't he? Maybe, I don't, I don't want to say homeless, but I, I don't know. It's a possibility, know? you never know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I bet he's creepy. Yeah. This is actually Eno Sari's room. Eno Sari burnt to death April 9th, 1963. In this room, mm -hmm. his bed was over in these windows coming up this way. He liked to drink, he liked to smoke, he fell asleep in bed and he burned to death. He was, from what I was hearing from Jane Stemmerman, the owner at the time, her parents said that he was screaming for help when they were coming up the stairs, when they were bringing him out. The people that were living here was a boarding house and they wouldn't even help him. He was screaming for help and they didn't come in here. I don't know if, I don't know if they'd help him if he would have lived, I don't know. But there's a piece of burnt wood right there on the wall that actually was found right over on the outside of this by the roofers outside. So, um, gave it to the owners. They brought it home and um, they got home and he woke up the next morning and every door, every window, the gas thing, the glove box, everything was open in his car in the garage. And he goes up to his wife, he goes, what do you want in my car? She says, I was in bed with you, it wasn't me. And he goes back downstairs in his garage and that's the only thing left in the car. Wow. He took it to the framers, he gave it to the framer and said, I'll be back to get it. Nine months later, he went back and got it and brought it up here. So there that sits. That's incredible. That's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Death certificate. This is Eno's death certificate. Later on, if you need some, this is also some good trigger objects. He made these. He made these for his um, niece, Judy. It's pressed tin. Oh, wow. So he does answer sometimes to it. Um, this is the one that's got, yep. So wow. he was the guy who 
died? Burnt to death in yeah, here. Yeah, yep. oh, he's the one that burnt to death in July here. July yep. 15th? Yep. That was in the 60s, right? 16th. Oh, that's my birthday, July 15th. My anniversary is the 16th. Oh, on the back section yeah. right there. Yeah. <laughs> so you're July? 16th. Oh, I'm 15th. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <Yeah>. What? <laughs> <laughs> I have no significant events on those dates. Yes, because I used to have her walking. I mean, Chris on walking. All right, come on up. Don't touch me. Right after you, Charles. Yeah, this area scares the crap out of me. This is the stern. I don't know if you guys saw this one here. This fills up with rainwater. Whoa. This holes yep. up in the ceiling up here, go up into the attic. The rain, the rain, the water will come down the pipes and fill this up. It is still levitating off the floor to this day. All that is original. Wow. And if you look right here, right here, there's a letter written. Can you oh, see it? Yeah. It was written in 1902 from Edward Pierce. Mm -hmm. It's about an arranged wedding in Boston. What a strange place to write that, though. Oh, right? <laughs> like, it just, why there? That's, that's very odd. Uh-huh. Yeah, then we got a freaking huge jack in the box. This it is the most unfolded apparition yeah. in this room about a month ago. Oh, that recent. Mm -hmm. That recent. It was like, holy crap, did I just see that? And you went right behind me. And I turned, I looked over at the three people that were next to me. I'm like, okay, Aaron's still there. So who was that? Mm -hmm. My friend Megan was on the other side. And she goes, that guy's been standing behind you for like five minutes. I thought he was part of our group. And he just disappeared. Hmm. Just, wow. yeah. So this room is crazy. That's cops. cops. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I said, there's a here, but there's a dog in here too. <laughs> 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 Your face is awesome. <laughs> Susan and Sarah's room. Okay. This is a really good room to be in if they choose to be. You'd be in here, the door would slam shut. <clears throat> nice. It's happened many, many, many times. When it slams shut, you hear voices out here, two mm -hmm. talking. If you're out there and the door slams shut, you hear them in here talking. A couple years ago, I was in here with a group. The bed wasn't here, it wasn't even finished yet. And there was four of us women here, and their son behind us, and I said, slam the door. And it didn't, I said, can you please slam the door? And it didn't happen. And a black mass about the size of a basketball came right by where she is, come from the other room, and charged at us. Wow. And all of us just jumped way back. And poor Brian ended up hitting the window, and I had to reach back and grab him and pull him back, or he would have went out the window. Wow. Then the black mass just took a hard right, went through the wall, and there was a softball in there. We heard it all, we heard a bang and go across the room. Wow. It took me six months to come back up here. It scared me so bad. Yeah, that's valid. But that was crazy. It was crazy. But Susan and Sarah are in here, okay? All right. We'll be back. The billiards room, this is where Mr. Pierce would come with all of his friends and they would play pool and maybe poker or whatever they play back then, cribbage and stuff. One time, I'll go 10 years ago, with the previous owners, we were table tipping. Do you know what table tipping is? We were downstairs by the safe. The table started going crazy and it started walking and slamming into the safe. And Kenny on the table, Kenny, a friend of ours, he goes, stop it, stop it, you gotta break my table. So we get off the table, move it back to the center of the room downstairs, and it did it again, it kept slamming into the safe. We get off the table, we went over to the safe, that, we're looking around, and behind the safe, wedged into the wood, like right here, was a skeleton key. So we got back on the table, we're like, what does this go to? And it started counting, nine. There's 54 doors and 72 windows in this house. We took it, we tried every door, and the only one that fit was room nine, this one here. Hmm. The skeleton key, it would lock it and unlock, that's the only one would fit. So Lily and then we took that key when they left, but in the 11 years I've been here, I'm gonna say two to 300 cyclists have been here. And this room here, they didn't like. They didn't like this closet. 
they call this the rape closet because not so nice things happen to girls and boys and women in here. Back in the day, men didn't care. They could do whatever the heck they wanted. Um, but everyone, every psychic, I don't know about you picking anything up in here. Yeah, I saw a big red X not to go in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's gone in here while I'm doing tours, somebody got shoved up against the wall last two weeks ago, literally, and she was screaming. Some other person had their hair pulled, somebody else got scratched. It's just, but every psychic says that they see naked women in there, they see Ooh. children, and it's just not good. So I, I try not to go in there. Yeah, and I had a tour and a guy, this big guy, tatted up, and he went in there and he sat down and he busted through the door and said some guy, somebody grabbed his wrist and it was hard enough to hurt. Mm. Wow. And that was just last week, a oh, what, four days ago? Mm. Wow. Yeah. So definitely guys go in there, okay? You guys go in there. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Right. yeah. 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 It's, I've had women leave the tour after going in that closet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sick. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've had Puking. women sick really? that said mm -hmm. they just, yeah, they just, they had to leave. Yeah. That's the dark side of the house. Because yeah. think yeah. about it. Why would the servants be on the same, on the same floor as the village room? Mm -hmm. That's that true. The servants were kept separate. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And exactly. that is where the key is, right there. So he and his friends would come in and pretty much do whatever they wanted. Yeah. And then why do we find bones in the basement? Yeah. Why do we find bones? Why this room? Why seeing the girl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Susan, over here in the other room, was actually pregnant and she lost her baby. How did a 16 year old get pregnant? Yeah. You know, it, it just kind of all adds up. And this is what all the psychics tell me. So. It and ends up. The person in the basement was 16. Yeah. Right? The, the bone yeah. was in the basement. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, yeah, that's my house. Not my house. Their house. Mm -hmm. Our house. But it's your house now for a few hours. Cool. But have fun. Okay? <laughs> All right. I had a girl yeah. on the tour get grabbed going right through the door. Really? And she wouldn't go upstairs. She's oh, like, wow. no. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, what a. Cool staircase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes right to the top. It's suspended in the air. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Oh. Oh. oh, why is it so cold up here? It's kind of weird up here. Right? Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, hit my shirt. <laughs> Small spaces. This is cool. Wow. Look at that. It's heavy up here. Yeah. I feel like something happened up here. I mean, who I knows, know. man? There's a lot of crazy stories about this place, and uh, yeah. we're about to experience it for a few hours. We haven't even started yet. It's already getting weird. So. Yeah, that one room is just like with the closet. I yeah, I don't, I don't like that. It's yeah. uh, a bit much, but yeah. I don't know. I feel compelled to kind of start there for some reason now. I mean, yeah. We can always start wherever it hits. Yeah. So. Okay. Wow. Crazy. These stairs, though, holy crap! Yeah. <laughs> Steamy. Your camera? Yeah. That's I've weird. Cleaned it a bunch. No way. It's all steamy. Let's try again. No, it's good now. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> so it begins. It does. <laughs> right. Haven't even started yet. Yeah. Let's right, head back down. Is she testing out the uh, the bathroom? I'm asking what she gets in there. Mm. She slid her. She killed herself. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Every second. Was that you? No, that was. I think that was, was you? you. You said, "Oh wow!" Right? Oh, I said. Yeah. That. I heard something oh, down, down here. here. I heard something down there too. Hello. Is this the original copy? Wow. One of them. Okay. I heard that. Yeah, I heard that. Well, and it wasn't caught over it. here. You had to caught it. I might have caught it. Yeah. It was down I was here. I facing you guys, so. It was You're down right, there. Yeah. It was yeah, down it there, not over like there. It was from her right down there. I'll have to do an Estes method in there. Mm -hmm. I'll sit in the bathtub again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sat in the bathtub with one of the girls that was in that room with me, and the water turned on by itself, and we were fully clothed, and we had to get out of there so. Wow. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
kind of funny, not sorry. Funny. <laughs> kind of funny, right? It's kind of funny. <laughs> sorry, that is what happens to you. Not funny. And I would probably laugh. I would. So okay. that's that, guys. Cool. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Awesome. We're coming down. Where'd you, was it you? Anybody here? <laughs> Are you connected to the house? Yes. Are you going to show them a good time tonight? Yes. Thank you. Appreciate that. Are you happy they went to see you at the cemetery? Yes. Is my hair green? No. Nope. <laughs> chance. Is Trisha's hair red? Just test it. No. Is my hair black? Is this hair black? No. Is it? No. No. Oh. It's blonde. Okay. What's there your name? You go. Angelo. Where's Angelo? Show me. What do you mean? Show me the front door. Where's the front door? Where's Oma? Oma or Omar? Can I have a hug? Nice. <laughs> I just sit here and just go. Tell ya. These are the house ones. So. Oh, okay. Very I've cool. got to get me a pair of those. <laughs> I know, I'm going to. You're in here. All right, guys, we uh, have decided we're going to start upstairs while Chelsea gets some photos done. <laughs> so we're going to start from the uh, Widow's Peak area and then I think start working our way down. I don't know what it is, but something's drawing me to that yeah, really cool. terrible closet. That's going to be really uh, spooky. We might have to close the door. Yeah. Okay, hang on a second here. Let me get the night shot on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. Ready? Alright. Oh. We'll have to shut the door. Okay, door is more or less shut. Ah, the rest of the way. Alright. Alrighty. We've officially made it past the threshold. Alright, this is scary. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just made it up. We are going to be starting off. There. We are starting off on the top floor. Oh boy. It is uh, really dark. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh man, Jesus. I literally just saw my own shadow. Okay, so this is pretty wild. We're literally just setting up here, and uh, I put one REM pod here in the girls' rooms. Do you remember their names? I think it was Susan? Uh, I don't remember. Susan. There's another one in here. This one's going off too, right on the bed. And now it stopped. As soon as I walked in, it stopped. Do you want me to leave? Can you make it stop if you want me to leave the room? Whoa, dude. Dude, this one is responding on command. Yeah. So when I walked in the room, it stopped and then it started going again, and it's like repetitive. Really? And um, I basically asked, do you want me, if you want me to leave the room, make it stop, and it stopped. Like, dead stop. I think that one's mine. Yeah, let's see what it's going off right now. Oh, yours too. They're both going this off. Is direct contact over. So that one's a temperature increase. Either is it increase or decrease? This is actually pretty wild. It's uh, right off it's bat. yeah, it's starting really, really fast. And then yours is going off. Let's try this again. Let's see if we. Uh... There's mine again. I can hear it. If you don't. Oh my gosh. If you don't want us in your room, make it stop, please. 
There you go. Told you. Okay. And this was. Um, this was William's, William's room? room. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That was very quick. Yeah. So a lot of times it takes us a lot. Like we have to wait a very long time till it builds up enough energy. But yeah, that's pretty quick. That's cool. If there's anybody in that room down there, can you make the uh, the one near the closet go off? Who's Edna? Edna, can you tell us who you are? Can you tell us which room you're in? I'm a protector. I'm a protector. Remember it said in the cemetery? What did it say? I protect this house. Are you? I'm not familiar with who Edna would be though. We're, we're gonna have to ask. Is this Sylvester Pierce? Do you still protect your home? Whoa. That's yours right there. That's a very, and very wow, strong man. temperature change. So are you not Mr. Pierce? It was Mr. Pierce who's the protector of the home? I'm assuming since it was his. Is there anybody in this room in particular? I'm like super drawn to this area. I'm like yes. really like enticed to get something to happen. What the hell was that? Did you hear some? Did you hear something? What would you hear? I don't know. It sounded like somebody like whimpering. That's mine again. Holy shit, bro! Oh what, 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 what? Bro, I just saw the arms of someone. Really? Yeah. I just saw an arm, like right in here, bro. Like I'm not even playing. on your screen. No, like, with my eyes. Like it just literally looked like yeah, someone yeah. was standing up. Whoa, <laughs> dude. Whoa, what the? I swear I just saw something. He punched. He punched. Did that just say he punched? He pushed. He pushed. I thought it said he punched, but it was he pushed. Which is crazy because earlier, remember that girl who was giving us the tour? Yeah. She said she literally got like pushed, punched like in her rib area. Yeah. Who, who was pushed? Dude, I have like so like chills. Like yeah. it's so cold it's in this nice. one area. Who was pushed? First? No. What, was what was that? What was what? Something just moved. I have cat balls that I'm moving. I don't know if that's what you're talking about. I what? don't know, but it sounded like it came from over Like from there? Yeah. Let me try something here. I got a cat ball here. Who's in this room right now? Hazel. Hazel. Hazel, were you one of the maids? Can you touch that device if you were one of the maids, please? I'll put another one of these in here. 
This room is really scary. Like intensely scary. Okay. Let's see if uh, we can maybe trigger something to go off in there. I'm gonna put another one here on this table. And uh, I do have an EMF meter as well. <laughs> Let's see, uh, maybe if I put this like right here. Oh, just leave that there. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright, is there anybody here in this closet? I know a lot of terrible things happen to people in here from what I heard. Your REM pod it just keeps going crazy in that one room. See if there's a cap. There's a cap ball I put on the table. Maybe it went off. Yeah. There's an item in the closet there for you. If you move it, it'll light up. I know there's uh, a little bit of road noise. Unfortunately, there's not much we could do about it, but. It will uh, die out eventually. What the hell? Is that the mess with people? Yo, I think I just heard something move in this closet. What the hell? Are you in the closet now? I heard. I think I heard you moving around. Yeah, it sounded like somebody took a step in there. Actually. Yeah, there was like a little bit of a creak. Who's in there? Do you want to close that door for us? Oh, we're getting agitated. It's agitated. Whoa. What the hell is going on in there? It's more temperature changes. Is it like... Just stop when we came. Yeah. Whoa. It's a lot warmer in here all of a sudden. Who's in here? There's something weird about this room. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Do you want to move something in here? Is someone talking? Whoa. Whoa, there were two girls in this room and they're known to be in this room. Susan and I, honestly, I can't remember the, yeah, the other one. Like Kate or something. Something like that. Can you tell us your names, please? There's something behind you. So, there's someone behind me? Dude, I... Oh my god, what the f***? What the f*** did I just see? <coughs> Dude, I swear I just saw an arm, like, reach out for you. You saw an arm? Yeah. Like, no shit. Like, there was literally an arm coming from that to the right. Right? It sounded yeah. like a creak to the right of us. Are you in the room that the bunk beds used to be in? Are you? Oh, Christ. This hat? I don't know. Can you 
Can you make another noise for us? Attached. Attached. Yeah, attached. What the? What was that, dude? Like I legit saw like it looked like something came through here. Hello? Sylvester, come on out. It's starting to believe that you don't want to show us that you're truly here. I have regrets. Sure you do. What kind of regrets do you have? I kind of want to move this REM pod to the closet over there. I like to come here. I bet you do. Was there somebody who came and had a party in here? In this room, played some billiards? I have another device in here. If you go near it, it'll let me know you're in there. You can talk to us. Can you tell us why you did what you did? For that sake. I don't know. Mandy. Mandy. We're getting a bunch of girls' names. Yeah, Mandy. Edna, Hazel, Mandy. Yeah. Edna, yeah. Can you tell us what they did to you in here? We would like to confirm that. Do you feel threatened by us because we're two men? We mean you no harm, we just want to help. <clears throat> it is possible that they're like afraid of us, maybe. Yeah, maybe. If they feel threatened, right? There's no need to feel threatened. I want you to know that what you did was wrong. On so many levels. Specifically for the men. <clears throat> the men that took advantage of those people up here. Why did you do it? Where are you? There's gotta be somebody in here. Give us a sign, anything. And then we'll leave you alone. walked in there. 
Are you walking around in there? See that thing with the red light? If you go near it, if you put your hand near it, it'll go off. We'd like to know that you're in there. Would it be okay if I came in there with you? It's still doing something. Oh, what the? What? Something just tapped this chair. Yeah, that was me. Something tapped the chair? Yeah. I heard it like ping. I don't know if it was just, hang on. Let me try and debunk this. It's the way I walked in, I went like this. Okay, it's clearly not the floor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It is right next to you. It's quite cool in here. Are you in here with me? What's wrong? I saw someone behind me, bro. Mandy, are you one of the maids that were here? Hazel, are you still here? Is there anybody in here? Feels like there's something in here. What? That, that was me, that was me. That was My foot hit it. I swear something just hit the chair again. It might actually just be the floor though. I'm trying yeah. to like debunk it. It might just be from the creek in the floor. Yeah. Whoever is touching the I know, it's just going absolutely bonkers in there. Stop touching that. Oh. There you go. I was on command. Can you leave it off, please? Shit, my rim pod's going off now. Wait. What? The door is different. Right? I think so. Bro, that was open. Yeah, it was like open all the way, no? Yeah, that was open. Kind of hard to see because we're in night vision. I can't even see where it is. Okay. Who did that? Can you touch that a little bit harder? Or maybe close the door again for us. You did it moments ago. Things going off now.
so we turn the uh, lights on for a second. Um, I don't know. We're not getting like a crazy amount of stuff, but so far we're getting something. We're not even getting anything on here on the spirit talker. If there's somebody in here, use this device in my hand to communicate. You can choose words. This jack-in-the-box is really uh, something. <laughs> if there's anyone in here, see that device with the red light on the floor? Want to go near it? Anybody in here? Anybody here that used to work in the house back in the day? Where do you want us to go? Bro. Someone just knocked on the wall. Near you? Right behind me, yeah. Sylvester, you gotta come out, man. We came a long way to talk to you. And communicate, you gotta give us something, okay? You have a lovely home. Whoa. Something like knocking in there? Sounds like something's knocking. Is there someone over there? Make a noise. It's going on. Of course we're on this side now. Who's over there? Oh my god. Holy shit. It came, it came in the room. It literally came in the room. Yeah, it came in right in the room. I heard it literally right here. It came right towards us. Suddenly nauseated. Like What's weird about that? Why? So many claims of people being possessed and spirits taking over people's bodies in here. In this area? In the whole building, remember? Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. yeah, she mentioned the one of the owners was like possessed at one point. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. All right. If you're still in this room, can you make something go off? We really want to talk to you. We heard you. We know you're here now.
You want us to come into that room? What the oh, hell was, what that? was that? What was that? Dude, I heard that clear as day. That was like a woman, oh, right? Man, man. Up. Yeah. You guys are probably laughing. Shh, shh. You can still hear it. You hear that? I think so. It's faint, but I hear it. Is there someone over there? You know what's weird? I want, I thought I heard a fart. A fart? A fart come from that room, the bad room that I don't want to mention. I don't I'm know not, why, but. Are you just trying to cover for your gas? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Yeah, what the fuck Tell me that was a passing car or something. That was like a... <clears throat> yeah. That was behind you. Did that just get louder? I think so. Can you make it go to blue? There's a blue light on there. Can you make it go to blue for us? Please and thank you. Who's making those bangs? Those loud knocks. Oh, why is everything going so blurry in here? Bro? Yeah? My REM pod is on its side. What? The REM pod that we set up is like literally on its side right you now. You didn't move it? No. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. I'm zooming in on it. That was, it was on and up. Trying to focus the camera, but... What the f***? Yeah, bro. There's someone in here? We heard you make that device go off on the floor. Can you do it again? All right. Well, that was interesting. Maybe we will uh, go try a different floor and then come revisit this one again, but things are definitely spooky. Whoa, 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 ah. what's going on? I'm scared of the shit out of myself, bro. I keep on thinking I'm seeing figures everywhere. I mean, it is possible that you are. Somebody was watching me in the bathroom. I think that feeling of someone when I was walking just followed me right behind. Really? Yeah, it's like it was trailing. Was it big and tall? Because I had something that whatever I felt was, was big and tall watching me pee downstairs. Actually? Yeah. Whatever it was, was straight up like taller than me probably. That's what I felt oh, like. I was literally just standing there, just trying to take a waz, and yeah. it felt like there was someone like hovering from behind me. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he was just a creeper. He wanted to watch me pee. Yeah. <laughs> Chose too, bro. Chose too. Yeah. She went to the washroom like right after me, and she literally said basically that there was definitely something yeah. in there as yes. she was changing, which is just creepy. It's probably the guy who knocked over the rim too. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Wherever you are. You need to back off. I respect you for coming out when we asked, but 
to follow behind me close. I don't like that. Why don't you uh, move the device upright the way it's supposed to be? It is cold in here. Yeah. Is it like off? Yeah. But we never turned it off. The reason why I know it's off is because, okay. Where's that going from? Oh, whoa, whoa, it's going off. That's strong. Oh my gosh. For a second I thought that thing was gonna like explode. It was like, yeah, it looks like a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to say and that, but like... Now the other one's going off. Oh, fuck, man. Dude, whatever is in here is playing game with, games with us right now. Yeah. Okay. Like, no joke. It's going all... It's like doing a weird triangle thing right now. Oh, so this is only the start. <sighs> oh, oh, good oh, lord. Oh. What the hell? Oh. oh my god, you scared the crap out of us. <laughs> Good lord. I, I, this is really, none of my photos are turning out, my camera's not functioning. Really? I've been touched like four times. I just literally like can't do anything. I get, Seriously? Yeah, like I can't. Every time I go into one room, I just like... Okay. Major red What hasn't been happening so yeah, far? We heard footsteps walk right up to us. We both have seen something. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Oh, my God, okay. oh okay, sir. Are you guys okay? Yeah. yeah. I just heard somebody yelled for help. What? Oh. No. No. I gotta go get my shoes. Are you kidding? You heard a woman scream and say help. What? And I even yelled at you, Chelsea, Chelsea. No, I didn't yell at you. That all. wasn't us. But we were in the I'm kitchen sure. and we heard it. Wow. Really? Are you kidding me? We just like literally ran up the stairs to get you to you were looking to yell at help. Definitely we heard wasn't it, us. And then it was quiet, and then yeah. we heard it louder, and we ran up the stairs. Huh. Yeah, no. Did you hear it upstairs? No, no. We were in the kitchen and heard it. Someone, a woman yelling. Wow. Yeah, was no. it from in the building? Something yeah, it sounded like it was on the second floor. Something was just in here. Something tapped the window. Okay, here we are. Right at the uh get out that's not you. Okay. Who's here? That's really interesting because we weren't getting any of the actual REM to go on off on the third floor. Yeah. Yeah. So we know it's not the REM pod, that's like actually happening. Sylvester, are you here? I don't know. So the green means what? It's just REM. It's like essentially somebody's going near it. It's like as you go closer, the different lights start going off. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So. There's definitely, that, that just basically means there's definitely something there. Were your bones the one that they found? 
three to one in there. Yeah, it is crazy that they found actual freaking bones inside of that thing. Yeah, yeah. no, like they, for That's those nuts. of you guys who are who don't know, they literally showed us a photo of bones. Yeah. It's crazy. And they, they haven't figured it whoa. Oh my god. Yeah, there you go. There you Thank go. Thank you so much. Can you make it stop? Whoa. Oh my god, <laughs> Can you, can you make it go off if you're a girl? Or a woman? Is your name Rachel? My pendulum says no. Oh, I didn't even realize you had it. Mm -hmm. It says no? Yeah. Do you have your uh, Skinwalker Talker app? Skinwalker app? Yeah, that's what I call it. <laughs> I don't know why, but... <laughs> if you're a man, can you make it go off? Or a boy? One of you asked about the gender. I have a feeling it's not answering me. Mm. The woman. The woman that was seen in the window in white. Are you down here? Touch that red device. It will not hurt you or anything like that. It will just let us know that you're answering our question. Are you here with us? Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's a temperature change. Yes. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. It's a bigger temperature change now. Do you want to go on this swap? No, we're following you. We're following you. Who are you following? No. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh, there's something there. Can you tell us your name? Anybody's phone ringing or something? <laughs> like, what do you mean by call? Where were those tags that she said? Remember, she's right talking? there. The call tags? Yeah. Yeah, they oh, are. Right the call tags. Tags, bro. Oh, the call tags. Oh. What were those for again? I don't it remember. Was, what was that? Bag? What was that? Was that above us? Okay. The ladies are on the top floor. Yeah, they're on the third floor right now. They're like, oh. whoa. No, I didn't. No, I what? No, I didn't. No, you, what didn't you do? Um. Those, those. Those are like big temperature changes. Yeah. Were you accused of something? Train. Yeah, that was me. Sorry. Okay. Did somebody accuse you of something? Is that why you said no, I didn't? Oh my god! You yes, are. you are. We're all filming you. Do, is that okay? Do you mind? Oh my god. Shows, have we ever got that? No, we I've never. never heard that before, like anywhere. That's so random. Yes, all of our videos are gonna go to the world. 
I'll explain to you how it works if you want, and you can act upon that. So nowadays, we make videos talking to the dead. Because we're, cause we're cool. And, and people from all around the world watch them. So if you have any messages to say to the world, now is your chance. Anything you want. Who's Larry? Is that what it said? Larry? Larry. Are you one of the servants? Daughter. <gasps> daughter. Daughter? He had a daughter, right? Yeah. Uh, no. No? Not that we know of. He had three boys. Three boys, I thought, hmm. yeah. The daughter of who, then? Well, there was a daughter that did die in here, wasn't there? I think so. Whose daughter were you? We love talking. Oh, wow. Well, thank you for talking to us. That was just Can me. you tell us what type of bones they found? Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you walked that way. Is there anybody down here that wants to talk to us? We hear there's a, a sort of shadow person down here. So can literally just touch that wall. I heard that. Oh. Are you here? Near that wall? If so, can you touch that plastic on the wall? Or maybe make a knock? Anything at all, please. So they do have surveillance throughout the uh, house. Could be pretty interesting if we ever actually see something move on these. That would be pretty, uh, pretty intense. I'm getting the feeling like there's something right there. Like it's watching me. I just cannot see it. <clears throat> My pocket just moved. Really? What My happened? pocket just moved. Something like grabbed your pocket? Yeah, I heard it. So you, had, you didn't hear that. Did you catch I, I heard it. Yeah, like, my pocket just moved. Oh, wow. What the hell? <laughs> That's crazy. Can you tell us who we're talking to? What if I put this, like, right inside? <sighs> Did 
Did it give you any other interesting responses? Uh, it said the name Richard. Richard? Eight. eight. Was there eight bodies buried down here? Is that what you were trying to tell us? Oh my god. Holy Whoa. Shit. Holy. Who killed you? Was it Richard? Yeah, because there were seven deaths and murders in here, so. Oh, or maybe eight? If it said eight, right? Yeah. Or was it Larry? I feel like this might be a good spot to do the Estes method. Oh, yeah. Right? Why did he kill you? She didn't do what he wanted. She didn't do what he wanted. Yeah, that's what someone's saying to me. Wait, someone said that to you? Mm hmm message. No. Noah? Noah. Noah. Yeah. Which is interesting too because it said, no I didn't. Which is kind of like, almost like as if somebody's accusing someone. Mm -hmm. Which kind of lines up with what you're, the message true. that you're getting. That's true. Right? Yeah. Was it Mr. Pierce who killed you? Emotion. 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 Was it because of emotion? Wrong, but I'm getting like pregnant. Pregnant? Yeah. Was someone pregnant here? Is that why he killed you? What if we use the uh, necrophonic at the same time? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're gonna We're gonna use two devices at the same time to talk to you. Jesus Christ! What? What? I someone has been following me throughout the whole building. I swear this thing just Hello? I swear this thing just said Larry. Yeah. Whoa, what the hell was that? Go away. The woman? Or did that say go away? I don't know. What was that thump though? I don't know. Whoa, oh, there it is again. Was it this thing? I don't know if I walked on that. That might have been me. Can you come back and talk to us again? We got two things going here. You can use both simultaneously. That one's still scanning, right? Yeah, still going. Okay. Can you be specific and tell us who killed you? Is it? I wanted? What did you want? I was killed. Oh, Again! No. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Can you tell us how you were killed? 
I heard help. I heard that too. Yeah. Are you trapped here? Figure. And somebody has seen a figure here down saw here. One, you saw one? That's what I was saying. Someone's been following me through the whole mansion. Whoa. Because I just saw a shadow. <laughs> Who did I see right there? Give us a name, please. Maggie? Mabel. That's a pretty old name. Is that your name, Mabel? Were you one of the ones who were murdered here? Or just the one that was murdered here? They heard somebody screaming. screaming. Oh, that's right. Mabel, did you scream for help? Wow. Wow. Yep. Just got a yep. Nora. Nora. Very interesting names. Yeah. These are not like modern names. These no. are very old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nora, what did you have to do with this house? Bedroom? Can you tell can you tell us which bedroom? Is that where you want us to go? Bed? I heard that too. I heard Can you tell us the number? Of the room you want us to go to? Evil. Evil. No way. Who's evil? Something about tell them to go to five? I heard hell. You heard hell? I heard father. Okay, so we're all hearing something different yeah. then. So, I don't know. Tell us the number of, view you, the number of room you want us to go to. Nope, oh, road rage. <laughs> Hear a car outside. <clears throat> down. Down? We are down. Are you sad? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Stairs. Stairs. We're scared. Uh, Are you uh, Nothing at all? Did you come through the tunnel? Boat. Boat? Yeah. What about a boat? <clears throat> that word is weird. It doesn't fit. Yeah. Got all. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think how how a boat could fit into that. It doesn't... Jeff. Jeff? Jeff. It's very strange how like upstairs where we're getting mostly women's names. And yeah. down here, it's mostly men. Ow. It's very odd. <clears throat> I was saying the servants would work down here, right? I think, yeah. Would the 
students mostly being males at that point or? Probably both. Okay. Probably, I would have actually imagined more females. Yeah? Because females would have been more for like, you know, in the kitchen sort of True. thing, right? Yeah. And the men Sarah. would have. Sarah. Sarah. Oh, that was one of the girls' names. Whoa! Yeah. Holy Yay. shit! <laughs> oh, me too. Sarah. Sarah. So we did confirm the, the girl's that's name. Her. Yeah. One of the other girls in that bedroom? Oh, maybe that's what the room they're telling us to go to. Oh, Susan and Sarah's room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want us to go to Sarah's room? Yeah, that's a strong yes. Whoa. And then it came through on the REM pod. Holy yeah. shit. Look how strong it is. Wow. Okay. okay. We're going to go to... We're gonna go to Sarah's room. That was crazy. That was really cool. Yeah, that thing hasn't been doing anything, and then all of a sudden, for it to go to blue and yellow. Yeah. Like that's that's pretty intense. Okay. We're I'll take that. that. And I have a huge headache all of a sudden. There we go. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at it go again. Oh, wow. He screams. Oh, he screams. He screams. Yeah, it's like super cold right here. Yeah. Too. I'm just cold everywhere right now. I don't even think that was me. Huh. I guess we'll buy. Yeah, you have to go so Yeah, you gotta get really, really close. One. And I, I have it increased to the like the highest distance too. That sounded like a painful scream. Yeah, that was wild. All right, off to Susan and Sarah's room, I guess. Yep. Yeah, let's hit it up. Might need a sec. Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. Victoria. Victoria. Oh. Alright. So we are now in Sally and Sarah's room. Susan and Sarah's Susan. Yeah. Susan and Sally's room. Susan and Sarah's room. So much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're in the room. <laughs> We're in the room with the girls. <laughs> Apparently, Sarah is supposed to be in here. Sarah, you uh, told us to come up here. Are you here with us? We hear that you like to close the door. Are mm -hmm. you able to close the door for us? And also, just so you guys know, the ladies are in the other room down the hallway. Ooh, you please do. Please do anything you can. Whatever you like. Move something. Slam that door as loud as you can. Can you appear for us? I think this light just died. Oh, yeah. yeah. Put that there for a sec. All right, Sarah. There we go. Back in Is action. Is there a reason why you wanted us to come? Maybe we should get those dozen rods. Yeah. They have a whole bunch downstairs. Oh, do they? Yeah. They're all in the drawer. Nicola. 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 Oh, that's so weird. That's my grandfather's name. Oh, really? No way. It is. It's such a rare name, too. Yeah. For a man, even. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, Nonno, is that you? Did you come to hang out? <laughs> The REM pod's doing something. Mm. Okay, Sarah, is this your baby? Elsewhere. Elsewhere. She's elsewhere. 
Sul. Well, then why did you bring us here? Are you trying to lead us somewhere else? Sarah, do you have a message you want to tell us? My voice is heard. My voice is heard? Did you just want to let us know that you're here? Or are you trying to lead us somewhere? Hmm. Very weird. She might actually be somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It's possible, yeah. Dorothy. Dorothy. See, there you go. We come back up here, and all of a sudden we start getting, start getting more women's names. Yeah. Also, right? my middle name. Ooh. And my um, great-grandma's name. Ooh, creepy. So I got my grandfather's name, you got your grandmother's name. And I also got my grandfather's name downstairs. Really? Yeah. That's so strange. How many people are in this room with us right now? Either tap it, say it on a device, let us know in any way that you can. Okay. Anybody know a clerk? No. No? Like Clark Kent? <laughs> okay, that was just weird. <laughs> Clark Kent, are you here? Do you like Superman? That timing, though. Hmm? That timing for that. I know, right? That was amazing. <laughs> okay. Well, understanding. We're, understanding. We're gonna go elsewhere if uh, you don't feel like talking to us. Maybe you just wanted us to come up here for some reason. Can you tell us where you want us to go? No, me neither. No. It's, uh, I think we gotta move. Yeah. yeah. I think we should go down a floor. Yeah. See what happens down there, maybe. Can I enter your room, please? Thank you. She said yes? Yeah. Can I enter your room? Yep. Okay. She's upset with me, though. Oh, no. What did you do? I moved your phone. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. So is this her? Yeah, that's her. Okay. That's her right there? Yep. It's pretty. I like your white dress, Ellen. It kind of looks like mine a little bit. <clears throat> so she's known to stand in this corner over here. Where her photo is and where I instinctively put my REM pod? Yeah. <laughs> that I didn't even know that, so. Alrighty. Hey, Ellen. Are you cool with all three of us hanging out in here for a while? Not something for long. Not for long? Mm -hmm. I was going to say something doesn't feel right. No? <coughs> you okay? Yeah. My throat felt weird. Mm -hmm. Careful. Careful. Yeah, it's, it's warning us. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we're going to stay in here for a while because we want to communicate with you. We want to find out what happened in this house exactly. Sorry I moved your phone, Ellen. 
I won't touch anything else in your room. Can you make something move? Give us a sign that you're here. Gets <laughs> me every single time. I hear you like perfumes. Can you maybe move your favorite? I actually smell perfume in here. Yeah? Yeah. You you guys don't? Growl. Ooh, that was weird. What you, don't, if we... you don't smell it? No, so maybe she's just near you. Maybe. Small perfume? Yeah, in like this area. That was her um, wash closet, wasn't it? Was it? Oh, okay. Oh, there's a weird mirror in here. Oh, oh we smell like That's a creepy. Or... Hey, Ellen, I'm in your washroom. Are maybe you? That's what you're smelling though. Maybe? But I don't smell it in here. It was just literally right here. Oh. Now it's gone. I smell like it's like mahogany wood and like... Yeah, that I smelled too, but then I was starting to catch a, a whiff. A just whiff. a whiff of perfume. <laughs> Are you okay with people going in your washroom? Two men. So either it's saying like two men spirits or it's pointing out you two. Yeah. No, I think it's pointing out the fact that we're both in here. Yeah. Do you not like having two men in your room? <clears throat> you okay? Yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit kind of off. You look drained. Mm hmm time. <clears throat> what if my you... blood. My blood? My blood. Wow. What about your blood? Oh, oh God, what, what the hell? Happened? Somebody just slammed my head against the wall. Oh my God. Oh. What um, the? F oh, are you okay? You're okay? Yeah, someone just slammed my head against the wall, like literally. Who did that? Like the. F you okay? Yeah. Watch your hand. Ah. A bit of a bump. Uh oh. Yeah. Like, I literally felt just a strong, heavy force just slammed my head. What the hell was that? I don't know. Oh. I think it might have been his phone. Did your phone die? It was literally just at like 80 when I was just on his phone. Your phone Excuse died. Me. I don't remember what it was at. Oh my god, I'm getting scared. Yeah, Who was that? The... Jesus, I thought you like passed out or something. Yeah. I just saw his head go like right back. Yeah, I got That's a weird. massive headache. Okay, maybe Ellen's mad. Yeah. And apparently likes to hurt people. But I don't know if that was Ellen. I don't know. I have no idea. Could not tell you. I like I got this very big thing of like tiredness. I think I need to step out. Okay. Like actually, right. you guys can stay in here. I need. To... Well, I mean, we can take a break if anything. Yeah, I think I need to get some fresh air. Or yeah. Something. All right, let's do that. So we got Chelsea there in the corner, ready to go. 
she's got the SP7. I know we're supposed to leave the room, but she's like, you guys ain't leaving this room. Yeah. <laughs> so for her own safety, we're all going to be in the room. Is it over your nose? No, she can't hear us. Kelsey, get a big booger. No, oh, she's good. Okay. I'm just going to start off here. Can somebody tell me who smoked my head on the wall? I'm telling you, it feels like there's like a magnetic force. Like, did you feel that earlier? Right? It just sucks you into like this sucking you into the wall. Mary. Mary. Larry. Larry. Larry? Yeah, we got Larry. We got Larry downstairs. Larry, are you connected to the house? No. So where did you come from, Larry? The cellar. That's weird. What were you doing in the cellar? Touching my shoulder. I'm in the back. In the back of what? Back of the chair? War. I have a question for whoever's here with us right now. Is there a portal or two in this place? Omar. Yes. Did I do something to piss you off? This one is like shake. Yes. Oh my god, bro, are you listening to this? Oh yeah. What did I do?
Leave. Why do you want us to leave? Hurt. Are you going to hurt somebody if we don't leave? Are you going to hurt me? Already dead. You can't hurt me. You hitting my head on the wall is already enough. My heart's pounding right now. Like I'm so scared. Leave. So Lester, was that you? Leave. Is that leave again? Mm -hmm. Leave. Are we in contact with Sylvester? We have. No. And Killed. Her? Then who are we talking to right now? Hush. Stop right there. It's almost eight minutes. Yeah, maybe. we're gonna stop soon. Head. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Why do you want to hurt him so bad? Suffering. He killed me. Who killed you? Larry. Right now my camera's picking up a square right beside her. It's just like moving. Oh, so it's picking up something. If you're right beside her, can you make that black box there go off next to her? Finished. Shut up. Yeah, I think we should knock her out of that. Yeah, yeah, it's already almost 10 minutes. That was amazing. Yeah. Wow. That's weird. Yeah. You hit on. You that did. Was weird. Yeah. Me, every wow. question. Every question. Really? Yeah. What was going on? And he said, "Who killed me? Larry is the one that killed whoever was in here." Apparently, Larry. But apparently, you're blaming him. Well, not you. So you've actually gotten the name Larry before? Yes. Yes. Really? Yeah. So I just got Larry, which makes me zero. think that wow. Larry yeah. killed somebody. Was probably one of SK's friends. Killed somebody in this room.
That's crazy. Or in the house. Or in the house. Yeah. And then wow. you must look like him. Yeah. Because yeah. And you left the front Somebody door. went after you. Yeah. Yeah. This is exactly. It's so mind boggling. Maybe I'll try another room. You yeah. mentioned his name, Omar. That was yeah. the most incredible thing I've ever witnessed. That was amazing. That I was scared for you. I almost said, "Get out of here." Yeah, I know. I almost took that upon myself. When he, they said leave, I said, "Okay, we you, we got to get him out of here before." Yeah. 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 Wow, that was incredible. Are you guys going to do another room? Yeah, I think so. Oh, Let's see if Larry follows us. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Larry. You heard me. Apparently, well, Omar heard something over there. Alright, so we are in. Uh... What's going on? Like going like through stuff downstairs. Really? And our stuff. Well, let's go check. <laughs> Are you the hero down there? I, have to watch I know. It, like, You're nobody gonna check? Hold on, I'll check. Oh, did he? I checked, yeah. Okay. You ran down there so fast? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so wild. Walking around? Yes. yes. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there any steward in the room with us? I can hear like a woman humming. Swear just said my name. Larry. No. But Larry. it sounded like it was like, Larry. Larry, what did you do in this house? Are you upset that we're here? So that why you're being physical? Blood. Right before it smacked your head, it said blood as well. Really? It did. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to scare us out of here? It's not going to work. Two or three getting it said. Angry? Who are you angry with? Confused?
Sounds like someone's screaming. Larry, did you murder someone in this house? A young girl? Eight. You murdered eight people or an eight-year-old? Bones. What kind of bones? Cut. Sounds like it said, I cut them. Where did you do this? Red. The red room? Is that why Ellen stays in the room? Is she trying to protect the girls who go in there? It's not saying anything. Oh, now it did. I don't even know if I should say it. Say it, it said, uh, it said whore. Who's in the hallway? Alone. What was the name of the person you murdered? Basement. Water. In the water. Holy shit. Did you kill somebody in the water then? Now there's like old music playing. That's what it sounded like. Yes. Now the right there. Right there. Right there. It's old music. Sounds like humming. Are you singing along to the music? Didn't listen. I want a clear, coherent answer on why you hit me and hit my head against the wall. That's a wire? We would like the answer to Omar's question, please. Who 
who just made that tapping noise? Maybe 22. Feels like something is touching me on my left arm. Oh, God. Someone is touching me on my left arm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Back where mine was Are you the man that comes to the floors? The man in the drawing in the other room? Omar. What do you have against Omar? Hello. Oh. You have some questions. What do you want from me? Come to me. No. I will not come to you. You are you getting that on your the screen? one? You are the one. What does that mean? You don't have permission to do anything to Omar. Boy. Who scares you? Trouble. It's weird, like, the, it's, it's me. The static is getting, like, louder than. <clears throat> Who's them? Sacrifice. How long have we been going to? 11 minutes, you should tap them out. Yeah, it's five up. Yeah. Oh my god. It's <laughs> really? Shit. <laughs> wow. Yes, you guys, good. that was incredible. Yeah. Mm. That was incredible. Omar. <laughs> yeah. Long rounds. Oh me. my gosh. Even in this to, room. I think you need to claim yourself before you leave here. I yeah. think Larry Larry murdered some women in here. Yeah. Oh, just, just you, you should dig here. You should yeah. dig here. You should dig here. I, I would be surprised if there were more. Yeah, I also. I really do. You should dig here. Yeah. I think there was probably a lot of women murdered in here. Mm -hmm. Women and men. Sad, sad, sad. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, yeah. This wow. has been. Intense. A different sort of investigation. Investigation we've had really harsh ones. We've had very mellow ones. This one's just confusing. Um, honestly, I'm gonna be real. I love this place. I love the architecture, the whole building, but the vibes in here are just get to me. And is that her uh, cue to go back to Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel heavy in, in this house at all? All through it. Yeah. All through I it. I felt like that before. One Saturday, literally two hours. I had to get out and I was angry. Mm. I was angry, frustrated. I was just, it was bad. The guy was bad passing out there. that yeah. night. Wow. wow. Yeah, he fainted in the red room. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty bad. October yeah. 15th, my son's birthday. Yeah, I and that out. whole day, all the tour guides weren't feeling well. People were sweating. All the people that came for tours, they were sweating. They did not feel good. It was a bad Saturday. 
this house was dark that Saturday. Dark Something must have happened on that date. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Something saying, happened yeah. must have, yeah, that's what we were thinking. Mm -hmm. Or did somebody bring another entity in here and they were trying to push them out? Maybe. Could that be because so many people coming in yeah. that have attachments? Yeah. yeah. Did they leave someone and they were trying to kick them out that day? But, it, well, but every other place, day has been great. This place could have held so much energy in here. It could have created a gateway. Yeah. And it's, it's such an old area, right? It yeah. just could just be mm -hmm. just coming, in. coming in and out naturally. Yeah, you got a portal True. downstairs. Exactly. Coming in and out yeah. of the portal. And isn't there a portal in the closet too? Mm -hmm. On the third floor. The floor actually kind of like right above her on the third floor. Yeah. Hmm. I also wouldn't doubt if there were just naturally like over 30 spirits hanging oh, out yeah. here. Yeah, that's what is true. So. Yeah. You know, my dad and my mom have been here. They yeah. both died and they've come here. Yeah, and also, yeah, because you get so many names. You yeah. get women's names, oh, guys' names. Strange how she says that. Yeah. We got both of our grandparents. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I got my yeah. grandfather. She yeah. got her middle name, and also, which is also her grandmother's name, my, you think? My grandma and my grandfather, yeah. That's wow. crazy. That's and my mom and dad is here quite often. Hmm. Yeah. It's like just attracts, like, mm -hmm. spirits yeah. from well, everywhere, I, I, I guess. Believe, yeah. So. I don't <laughs> That's All right, let's go back to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys were just phenomenal to watch. Yeah. Just uh, that was just amazing. Yeah. Was amazing. <laughs> cool. Thank you. You guys are great. I appreciate the opportunity, guys, yeah, and for showing back. us. Yeah, sure. back. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. For sure. Yes. When you're all better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, stuff like this happens quite often. Yeah. But I, I need months to get me for the for that. the for that location. Right. Yeah. So it's just, I'll definitely be back in the future. Maybe not next week. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next year. Yeah, yeah. for sure next year. Yeah. That's okay. Awesome. All right. Um,